Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. In today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to create a floor for your scene using the grid effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. This is grid number one or floor number one. Floor number two, it's the exact same effect. I just changed some of the settings. Then floor number three, I can change that bottom layer to get a different look. And I can also add multiple layers and kind of stack up the grids to get different looks. The first thing I'll do is create a new solid layer. So I'm just gonna right click in the comp panel, go to new solid. I'll make it comp size, color does not matter. Then I'll click okay. To add the grid effect, I'm gonna to go to the effects and presets panel. And I'm just gonna start typing grid, G-R-I-D. Under the generate category, there's the grid effect. I'll drag it right onto the solid layer and we'll customize it in the effect controls panel. I'll go to the size from property, click the drop down, and change it from corner point to width slider. This is gonna make the grid perfect squares. So if I increase the width, you'll see it stays in a square. I'm gonna change the width amount from 32 to 48, and I'll change the border size to 20. And for the color, I'll click the swatch, and I'm just gonna change it to a dark brown color click OK. And to be able to rotate our grid and make a ground plane or a floor, we're going to convert the layer to 3D space. All you need to do is just tick the box under the cube. And if you do not see the 3D cube, just right click on the header area, go to columns and make sure that switches is checked. Just tick the box. The layer is now in 3D space. And when you select a layer in 3D space, you will get this 3D gizmo. This is going to allow you to adjust the transform properties of that layer in 3D space. Or you can also adjust the transform properties if you just twirl open the layer and twirl open transform. And to rotate our grid and make the floor, we're gonna do so on the X rotation. If you want to use the 3D gizmo, well you can look at this legend to know which color controls which axis or if you just hover your cursor, it's gonna tell you what you're about to change. So I know red is going to control the X rotation. So all I have to do is just click and now I can change the X rotation. I'll undo that. Or you can also just go down to the transform property and you can change the values or you can manually enter in a value. So I'll just put minus 82. I'm gonna move the grid to the bottom of the composition. And just as an FYI, if you try to use the align panel on 3D layers, you are gonna get an error message. So I'll just click and drag down. I'm gonna hold this shift key just to make sure it doesn't go left or right. There is some space on the side of the floor. So I'm just gonna increase the scale property to 125. And now we have a fully customizable floor. And it's just a matter of adding elements to create a scene. The tan color in the background and below the grid that is just the background color of the composition. So if I click on the toggle transparency grid, we currently have nothing in the background. I added another solid layer by just right clicking, new solid, made it comp size, dark blue, clicked okay, and I dragged it to the bottom of the layer stack. I then added a texture layer. I just lined it up to the floor and that's gonna be my wall. With the texture layer selected, I went to the shape tool and the rectangle tool, and I drew out a mask to make a fake window. I added a window frame. I put a video of some clouds below. I put a plant in the corner. I can see that the plant is below the grid. So I'll select the grid layer. I'm gonna drag it down to the bottom. Add a chair, a clock on the wall, added a dude and now I have myself a little scene again the floor is completely customizable just go to the effect controls customize your heart's content change the colors change anything you want but that is how you can create a floor using the grid effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2024 and my name is Mike Murphy cheers